I'm in love with someone. You know, I, well, it's been it's been growing really, kind of a kind of a process. You know, sometimes it's just so easy to let life get you down. You know, and it's the little things in life that just you know, immobilize you, like you're in a full body cast emotionally. You know, bills, life, taxes. The things you don't like that are paid for by those taxes. How the commercials are louder than the TV shows. And then our advertising products that are most likely carcinogens. And people are so not questioning that they go out and buy these products. Drive into the stores in these tanks that are killing the environment only to buy a plastic product that's been packaged in plastic, paid for by plastic, put into a plastic bag to go home with you, that will eventually blow out of some landfill into the sea that is swallowed by a fish who's then killed to be made into sushi. That's a petri dish of mercury and plastic! Will you go out with me? On a date. A, a date. Will, will you go out with me? On a date? Would you like anything to drink while you wait for the rest of your party? Uh, water. Uh, lemon, no ice. No, it's unacceptable. Why? Yes, because I'm here all the time with him. I am. I am. Why do you always do this to me? It's always, always, always this! No, that's not what I was telling you before. We've been over this 300 times. No, I'm here for him seven days a week. What are you doing? Superhero movies? <laughs> hey! Hey, you! Harry and, Harry and Caulfield! What's the matter, Princess? Can't you hear me? Over here, in the television set. What are you doing with this dingus? Don't you think you can do any better than Rumple Foreskin over there? He's not that bad. Not that bad. He's chewing with his mouth open. You'd think he was an octopus from how many napkins he took. That is primitive man right there at his finest without the vocabulary. You know, I can't change someone. Real change comes from within. This coming from a psychiatrist. No wonder I have to spend all my days saving the world from idiots like you. Now listen up. You want to stop pretending to do good in this hunky-dory world with your analyst, schmanless role-playing? What? Now, I've seen the difference between you and these other schmucks around here. I've seen your handwriting. Now, you know when and when not to use an apostrophe. Thank you very much. Unlike the rest of these goons and unlike that guy. So join me. Join me. I don't believe in superheroes. <laughs> How do you expect to make a difference in this world unless you take a stand? Superheroes are only... It's, it's the classic messiah story. You just 
at a cape in a nuclear reaction to set the entire thing in motion, and there's always someone trying to save the world from some evil plan that's destined to destroy civilization. No. People can destroy themselves all on their own, thank you very much. I mean, we're dealing with a society where people can't even cover their mouths when they cough. Oh, and of course, if they do, they probably double dip on the salsa. Ha! I couldn't have said it better myself. And you must have some fantastic name like Awesome Man or something, right? You're goddamn right I do. Captain Curmudgeon. Captain Curmudgeon and the League of the Incredibly Irritated. Well, gotta go. <laughs> Little boy's room. <laughs> Little boy's room? Even I overestimated his number of brain cells. Join me! going anywhere. You know, it's the whole doctor-patient relationship. No! Your therapy. Your therapy is going nowhere. No, 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 no. We can, we can, uh, we can still see each other professionally. You're diagnosed incurably annoying. You're a, a hopeless case. I'm gonna write you a note. To stay away from public places, to avoid embarrassing yourself and others, especially me. Effective immediately. Hopeless? Uh, annoying? You chew with your mouth open. You steal food off of people's plates. You actually enjoy mindless entertainment. Oh, and you take five million napkins and use one. The list goes on and on and on. Well, you know, if I... If I am hopeless, I'm, I'm only hopeless in one way, and that's hopelessly in love with you. you no, no, I, you know, I've heard enough out of you. You think, think that you're the only person who doesn't annoy people? You think you're the only person that's, a, that, that's above people's pet peeves? Well, you know, let me tell you, no, sir, uh-uh. You, you do plenty of things that are annoying, like, like you just take over a conversation, and you never let anybody get a word in edgewise. And you're supposed to be a psychiatrist. You're supposed to listen to people. But... But no, you don't, you don't listen, you just talk, and you talk, and you talk, and you talk, and you talk. And you play with your hair, yeah. It's a little, little nervous tick that you have of playing with your hair when you're bored. And you think that feels good for me? You think that, that feels nice to know that, that you're bored and that I'm the reason why you're bored? And there's nothing that I can do because I am a boring person. You know what? Pretty girls like you always get away with it, and that's exactly why, because cause you're pretty, and, and nice guys like us just, just allow you to walk all over us and do whatever you want. Well, I'm going to say no more. Television? Ha! You? you know, listen, I gotta just What did you do with him? Don't turn the channel! I'm not the bad guy here! What? Listen, do you wanna know what I did wrong? Do you wanna know what my big crime was? I turned without signaling. Yep, that was it. And anybody, anybody who gets on his nerves, they're destroyed. He's just a bully. That's all he is, a bully, a, a cape wearing. Chisel chin, boy! No, 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 no! <laughs> Idiot drivers! Oh. Look, 
I know what you're gonna say. I'm sorry. We all make mistakes, but we try our best, right? Ha, ha, ha.